Welcome back everyone. This video will be navigating you to couple of scheduling heuristics in PPDS planning board. Let's go straight into the content. Now let's see how remove backlog heuristics works in the PPDS planning board. So first let's get into the PPDS planning board using the transaction CDP S0. I'm in the initial screen of the planning board using the standard overall profile, time profile, and work area. In the resource, I entered my resource. So by executing, I'm getting the planning board. Okay, uh, in the left hand side, I'm getting the resource pool. Since I have given one resource, it is showing the, the same resource here. Close this pan. Okay, just zoom in. Now I want to understand is there any backlog for that? I'll use the option begin with the first graphical object. If you see here, this is the dotted line which represents the current date and time. And previously, what are the orders placed in the planning board? That is a backlog. That means planned for the execution but due to some valid reason, it is not being executed. So, all these backlog orders need to be rescheduled in the future date. So that is the concept of remove backlog heuristic. Okay, now let's see how to do. Select the resource and go to more functions heuristic click on the remove backlog heuristic. So all the orders are in the past date and time. It might be scheduled in the future date. Since uh, this is the current date and time, if any order placed, it considers and uh, based on the capacity, it will be scheduled in the future. But in this case, you see the a dark gray that is nothing but a downtime. It is a manually that downtime has been fed in. So considering that the, the given capacity is not enough to place any of the order, that's why the sequence is not considering this capacity. If you see here, after completing the downtime, it started to schedule the orders. Right. So how to create the downtime? Uh, please check my previous video, which is mentioning uh, detailed scheduling planning board navigation. You will find out how to create the downtime. Okay, so if you are Satisfied with this sequence, you can go and save it. Let me save. So I'm going with the adopt option, not the simulation version. Now the data is saved, which I'm getting the message. Maybe I, once again, I'll go back and just load it. Is available. That's it. Next, we will see the heuristics called scheduled sequence manually. For that, one second, getting into the PPDS planning board, filling up the initial screen, 
this is my resource and location which I want to do the sequencing now we are in the planning board just zooming in so you can see a green thick line which represents multiple orders are lined up here so to view that click on expand multiple loading so now you can find all the order details right. now let's get into how to use the heuristics called schedule sequence manager to more functions heuristic select the heuristic called schedule sequence manually so what it means schedule sequence manually it means these are all the orders available in that particular resource which we want to sequence it by manually that means based on our priority what is the order number should come first and the remaining should follow so these are all the available orders on the particular resource so, so first what we need to do we need to swap pages so all the orders available in the left hand part it moved to right hand now you can see the order numbers this 874 right so now i want to bring this order as a first order you can bring it here after five maybe i will go with the nine based on my priority maybe 874 Okay, the last one is ending with the seven so the first one starting with the five and the last one supposed to be seven in between i do have my priority and based on that i want to schedule the others so just schedule it you see the information that heuristic schedules against manually execute if you see the order number the first order as I said, order number ending with the five. It is placed as a first one and I move on to the let's see the last one. Last one placed with the seven. In between whatever the order we prioritized accordingly, it is being sequenced. So once again, you can go with the save option, adopt. Data being saved, right? So this is how you can use schedule sequence manually.